the Naperville Park District Youth Girls Softball League wrapped up the 2023 season, crowning champions throughout four leagues. This year, the Park District offered eight fast pitch leagues for girls in first through eighth grade. Postseason play begins at the third, fourth grade level, with the younger leagues having just a regular season. We start um, with our coach pitch youth girls softball first and second grade. We have approximately 14 teams at each level. Um, and then at third and fourth grade, we combine. We have 14 teams at the third, fourth grade level. We have uh, eight teams at the fifth, sixth grade level, and then five teams at the seventh and eighth grade level. As they get older, some kids choose not to play, find other sports, or they may go, because because we're recreation based, they may go to a more competitive uh, type program, which is best suited for, for what they need. The Park District has run the league for over 20 years, and it's one of the many recreation programs that they offer. The playoffs are often more competitive matchups compared to the regular season, but the league wants to make sure the focus is on more than just wins and losses. What we try to do and what I try to do is we don't keep scores through or standings throughout the regular season. So this way coaches aren't focused on solely winning and losing, but more player development um, and learning the game, enjoying the sport. Um, and then when we have that first game, we actually do a blind draw for the first round of the playoffs. Each team was given a college to represent throughout the season, with the top teams advancing to the four championship games. In the third, fourth grade national division, Auburn took down Michigan in the championship. For the American division championship, Tennessee was defeated by Georgia. Moving to the fifth, sixth grade division, Kansas and Michigan met up in the final, and Michigan was able to pull away with the victory. Wrapping up with the 7th, 8th grade teams, Texas A&M clashed with Kentucky in the championship. In the end, Texas A&M was crowned champions. Most importantly, hundreds of local players had a blast on the diamond this summer as the benefits extend beyond bringing home a championship. We focus on good sportsmanship, um, and that's from the parents, the coaches, the players especially. Um, you know, just teamwork, camaraderie, um, having a good time, just using sports as a method to make new friends, um, and then just enjoy being outside. For Naperville News 17, I'm Joe Kennedy.